Uh, my, I have a weird name, but you can just call me Pen. That's probably easier to remember. Uh, I uh, didn't realize I was going to get a slot today until this afternoon. So um, uh, so I'm sorry that I wasn't able to get my slide in time. But uh, the idea is that, um, uh, well, okay, so I am uh, just starting a project called Open Next that's funded by the European Commission. And uh, what we want to look at is that um, there's so much work that has been done, such as the chaos matrix, on how to look at the health of open source software communities and how they collaborate and how they're doing and developing and growing. But our question is, can we apply a lot of these lessons and experiences to measure the health of an open source hardware project? Right? So there are a lot of similarities when it comes to developing hardware. Uh, a lot of people publish their hardware designs on GitHub or GitLab. Right? Uh, a lot of people use the same communications tools, such as Slack, IRC, or issue trackers and Git repositories. That all works really well, but there are also a lot of differences. For example, when it comes to hardware development, if you look at a, a Git repository, instead of seeing a file tree representing the source code that you can analyze, often a repository is just one or a few hardware design files, CAD files, right? And uh, sometimes those CAD files are in closed source formats, so you can't even parse the files to do a diff between different versions of um, the hardware. Uh, another problem is that, uh, in my experience, when it comes to open source hardware development, a lot of people actually get together in their hacker space and they do a lot of the collaboration in person uh, by working on the same things together using their hands or talking to each other directly. So how do you capture uh, the uh, collaboration that happens in that kind of context is another big challenge, right? These are just a couple of examples, but what we hope to develop uh, in a couple of years is some initial um, ideas how you can come up with perhaps like a, a, a dashboard, right, for a open source hardware project that tells you different metrics and depending on what those metrics say uh, that tells you okay what uh, what is the state of your project is it a beginning project is it a mature project is it kind of like tapering off a little bit and stuff like that so uh, this is the idea we have um, unfortunately I don't have my contact information up here but I would really like to learn from you since you know as was mentioned earlier there's hundreds of years of experience here that I would really really like to learn from so uh, uh, so please uh, come teach me uh, like how you do your stuff so I can apply it to hardware projects as well. Uh, I've been encouraged to leave a little bit of time for some feedback and questions. I don't know how much time we have. 80 today. seconds. 80 seconds. Okay. <laughs> what can you teach me in 80 seconds about Not this? Much. <laughs> yes. What are your thoughts on doing documentation for open hardware projects? Ah, documentation. That is a great question. Uh, there is actually a project specifically on hardware documentation called the Open Know-How Project. Open know -how. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, some of you might have heard of that. They're trying to develop uh, the standardized format. Uh, I think it's a JSON file format right now where you document all of the specs for a project but also link it to documentation on how to build it and all of that stuff. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anything else? No? Yes. What's one of the coolest hardware projects you've seen working in open hardware? Ah, okay, thank you. So one of my favorite projects actually is in the humanitarian sector. So um, I have this girlfriend who works for Engineers Without Borders, and he developed an open source um, peanut shelter. So he, uh, it's, tied, it's tied to a bicycle, and as you t uh, uh, ride the bicycle, it sh shells peanuts and spits out peanuts. <laughs> and that saves people a ton of time so they can go to school. Uh -huh. Anything else? That's, that's it. <laughs> Four, three, two, one.